What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers and back kind of working on the next gen carrier but also kind of not and the thinking was I can't really make a carrier without having some idea of what's going to be in and on it as far as the ships it's going to carry are concerned. So starting off with that, in front of me here is what I'm going to be calling the Albatross Assault Frigate. Uh, Albatross sort of kind of taken from its looks, it's got this big fat head, beaky head on it, I'm not particularly happy with how that looks but that's how it turned out, it looks kind of mean. Um, and yeah, just go through quickly, give you a tour of the ship. So on the outside here, we've since we've got this armor change that means the turrets no longer shoot your own ship, which is lovely, I have indented all of the turrets on this, and these are mirrored on the bottom, so the top and bottom of these sort of side nodule bits are identical. Uh, and the idea behind sort of recessing them like that is to try and stop the turrets from being quite so aggressive at actually shooting at enemy ships and focus them a little bit more at where I want them to fire, which is up, down, and at missiles and intercepting that sort of thing. Um, and then I'll go around the back and jump inside for the next bit, I think. And on the back here, we have obviously an antenna and a connector on a piston so that it can be easily refueled. I haven't completely decided how this is going to actually dock with the carrier yet. This was more about getting an idea of how big it was. Um, and we've got gravity in here. So this is the back of the craft with the two large reactors and ooh, a little secret, a whole load of gravity generators. wonder what those could be for. Uh, and interior turrets. So as you come around, the entire thing is defended by interior turrets at most entry locations and most large hallways. So this is the central portion of the ship. Down the front here is our med bay and uh, an area I didn't really know what to do with. It looks cool, but without mods, I don't have that much in the way of sort of decorative nonsense to put around here so for the moment this is kind of empty call it observation if you will uh, and up the top here same again just decks to walk around um, the idea is that this is a three-man craft and if I go into these side bits here which are connected again you will see why this here is obviously all on merge blocks and that is a connector connecting both of these side pods which are mirrored but obviously therefore not identical onto the main craft and yeah, just wander around here. I quite like the design of in here, like little corridors, slats to leave nice shadows and these can be split off. So if I go and jump into the main cockpit, obviously that side is the same, although slightly different colors because this has got that same sort of slight dazzle camouflage approach on it again. Although I don't know why there's any red in here. <laughs> so if I jump into one of these pilot seats, Okay, so yes, it's a ship, it moves, and as I said, this is the Albatross Assault Frigate. So the idea behind this is purely from an assault perspective. So you would arrive at your target, like we have here, and those two side pods would be split off by the two other crew of the craft. So I'll go and demonstrate that in a little bit, but as you can see on the bars here, I have um, a couple of buttons to do that and turn off those merge, merge blocks and connectors. But secondly, so once those have split off and they're running interference for this main portion of the ship and they're also capable of going and doing quite a bit of battering themselves, if I switch over here, uh, there's quite a lot of rocket launchers on those. <laughs> it's reasonably heavily armed. Uh, and they move really nicely when split off from the ship, really independent. But if I go back to this bar, we obviously have one extra feature and that is that this is designed to leave the central portion at distance. And then that central portion it's just going to be pressing one over and over again and you can pretty much guess what this is going to do it's going to launch some pretty sizable torpedoes out the front now the bit i'm particularly happy with this design is that if i jump into the timers here we go down uh, again this is that typical order that i talk about in my last video so you just got to think about it one step at a time weld literally just turns on the welders and starts this timer and this timer is the important one so if i go in here as you can see there's loads of stuff and loads of stuff that are actually groups on the craft itself. So this one is turning the mass box on the craft on, but only after I've turned the gravity on the ship off. So it literally in order, it turns off the welders, turns the gravity on the ship off, turns the mass blocks on the craft on, then turns the gravity for those torpedoes on, and releases them there and this arm missile one connects to a timer on the projectile and that timer is turning off the mass blocks again and activating a sensor on its side so the idea being that firstly these torpedoes are not capable of being affected by gravity after they've left this ship so if you watch the gravity in the left hand side as i shoot this now it's going to weld it all up and then you'll see the gravity is going to flick off 
at that point there is actually gravity on for some reason it's not telling me i think it's because i'm slightly too far away it's at the back right at the back of the ship but at that point the gravity is on briefly pointing forwards and then flicks everything back round again and if i was to go and follow those projectiles which obviously are flinging off in a straight line in that direction you would find that on those the mass blocks have turned off now after i think it's four seconds they turn off and they've activated a sensor on the side that's designed to let them penetrate into the target before detonating the warheads. So that sensor just detonates the warheads, but it's right on the back. So you can kind of picture the purpose of this ship. And I had there's two extra bits that I included in this as well, because I really want to make, as I said, this carrier really complete, have all the features. So first of all, this center bit is also capable of acting as an antenna relay for any fighters launched from the main carrier. So you come in for your attack. This is kind of left a couple of thousand meters out from wherever you're attacking so that it's a relatively safe because it's not that well defended. It's got a couple of turrets and it doesn't need to be close because it's just flinging these barrage of missiles in. But it's also relaying all the drone signals back from the main carrier so that your drone fighters can be involved. But that obviously I have on a, a quick bind just to turn on and off. Oops, I turned my uh, other one off. There you go. So you can just pop it off to get hidden. And I actually turned the other one on there by mistake, which is, of course, this has got a full spherical gravity generator shield. So you cannot attack this with anything that's using artificial mass unless you do what I've done, which is set up a timer system to turn it all off. So the final bit I'll do, having um, demonstrated that, is first of all, let's go and uh, shoot one of these new design torpedoes at something. Uh, so I think down to my right, I have the hangar from the last episode. Let's swing us around. The only thing I haven't put on this ship yet, again, because I'm not entirely sure what I want it to look like once it's finalized, is the, um, the sort of aiming method for this big torpedo. So this will be a little bit of potluck to see whether or not we actually get on target. Let's, uh, oh, I could always use some missiles as a, as a guidance. Yeah, there we go, that'll help. And one. And this all welds up really nice and quickly, launches nice and smoothly, and literally from the second you see the gravity turn back on again, you can be firing another one. So, launch. Now we can fire another one, build again. So the rate of fire on this thing, I would say, is pretty damn good, as you can see. Ah, I might have screwed that up a little bit. I think I pressed go a little bit too early. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's really quick. So there you go, that's a, just a demonstration of <laughs> something that's evidently working reasonably nicely. You saw the secondary explosion after it went in, that's the sensor setting off the explosives on the back of the, the rocket. Um, but let's jump in here and let's also, if I press 2, that should be all I need to do to disconnect the sides, I believe. Let's have a look. Do, do, do. Connects are off, merge, off. Surprised I can still see that group. Yeah, that looks all right. And you could then, obviously, if you were, hang on. So obviously, if you were one of the pilots, you would come out the side. And how has this happened? You see, look, the connectors haven't actually turned off. All right, I've been having this problem recently where the connectors just don't turn off when I tell them to turn off. And what that does is it pulls the ship around when they're next to each other like that. So let me just cut to a recording just to demonstrate that this does work. I've, I've tested it. These things separate off nicely. You just need to double check those bloody connectors. Yeah, I'm, I'm in one of the um, the small side things just to save me from the walk. But if I um, actually be damn certain this time that these are done, gone, finished, off, 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 off be off and you see again look I can see through the hole is that the connectors on no it's not the connectors on few does look like the merge box is still on though there we go and now you can see woohoo we can separate as long as those connectors are off these things separate just fine just for some reason you leave the connectors on and they maul themselves uh, but anyway yeah so there you go you got the idea two of your pilots would be off in these things causing major havoc while the sort of captain of the ship is relaying drone orders and also launching a huge barrage of those horrible um, warheads out of the ship. So thanks a lot for watching guys, hope you found this one kind of interesting, give you an idea of where I'm thinking with the carrier. Hope you like the design as well, spent a little bit extra time on the design of Lakes. Again, I really want this carrier to look the business. So yeah, 
keep that feedback coming. Um, it's really cool having your ideas and your input into what this carrier should be capable of as well. I want, you know, I want to have everything. So keep those ideas coming. Chances are they're going to be on the final ship just because I want this to be sort of the pinnacle of it can do damn everything. Any situation it comes up against, it's going to be fine. So cheers, guys. Cheers for your ideas. Cheers for your support. Please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Really helps me and the channel out. And otherwise, I will catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.